So Ritesh, it's not even been six months since I, since I interviewed you in London, but there's really? so much okay. to talk to you about because so much has happened in your life. So let's start with Robert Redford. Well, you know, I just we just finished shooting. I mean, obviously it's phenomenal. It's, uh, there's no other way to put it. He's such a nice man and just a great collaborator. But we're still in the thick of you know the collaboration and working together. And uh, he's also the producer on the film. And I'm just about to get into the edit. So it's too, it's so kind of raw and too soon to talk about that sure. you know, collaboration. But no, it was a real honor, you know, as I was finishing Sense, Sense of an Ending that's coming out soon. I got a call uh, to see if I'd have to talk to him and who wouldn't. And I read, uh, he was, he's producing this movie called Our Souls at Night. And he asked me to, you know, read the book and read the script. And I, I loved both and, you know, just a chance to work with him. So I just jumped on board directly. So it was just about jumping from one thing into straight into another. Uh, when you're on a set with Robert Redford, who also happens to be producing the film, and you don't like something, can you say it? Well, of course, of course, you know. The thing is that, you know, like on, on Sense of an Ending, when I work with Charlotte and I'm playing and Jim, they're all, you know, legends, much like Robert and Jane. And, and there's a reason, you know, you realize when you work with them is that, uh, on a movie set, there's no time, you know, for awe and intimidation and because there's such little time and so much to do and uh, no matter how big a movie is, it always feels like there's not enough resources. It just always feels that way because, you know, there isn't enough resources to do everything that you want to do. Uh, so there's only time to sit and work together and figure it out. And that's what they do, you know, they all are there to collaborate, you know, like even with Charlotte, she's really special, there's no one like her. She's just there to collaborate and, you know, we found so many nuances and, and things on set when we were making sense. Uh, and it was the same with Jim, it was the same with Robert, you know. Tell me, the sense of an ending now will premiere at the Palm Springs International Film Festival. That will be the world premiere of, yeah. of the film. Yeah. Uh, when we met in London, I'd asked you, um, whether you ever had a moment of doubt, you know, this is a very, very sort of iconic British novel that you're transferring onto screen. And you had said, well, either it'd be very good or it will be the revenge for colonialism. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you have some distance between the film and, mm. and yourself, are you satisfied? Are you happy with how it shaped up? I don't know. I, I think so. Yeah, of course. Uh, the thing is that if I had any doubts, I wouldn't admit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right because now you have to look and say it's fab. No, it's not a director's job, you know, it's, it's to, it's not like there's no room for doubts because, you know, you're always searching, you're always searching to make it better. How are we to know that our lives are entwined? Forever. And it was a very involved process, that movie, and I, I think we probably spoke when I was in the thick of it. But, you were uh, editing it. Yeah. 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 So, and adapting a, a book into a movie is very difficult. It's it's harder than uh, making an original screenplay. Really? Yeah. Because you have to be true to the book, and at the same time, you have to make sure that it's its own thing, because you can't film a novel. It has, books. and it has to stand yeah. alone. Yeah. Yeah, it has to stand alone. They have to be cousins, you know, cousins that are distantly related, not. Not siblings and I think we did that with the movie and the book and then Julian saw it Julian Burns who wrote the novel and he sent me a very complimentary letter about it so he loves the movie uh, and, and that in many ways is the goal you know that the writer of the novel loves the movie you make uh, but at the same time you wanted to go out there and and you don't want to preempt what audiences are going to think of it or the other lovers of the book or the people who haven't read the book what all of them are going to think about it I saw the finished film last with, in a cast and crew screening and uh, I, I liked it a lot and so did the cast and crew. So, so let's see. You're in a happy is, place. Yeah, what it does when it goes out. Yeah. When does it release in India? Mid-March. And do you and have any PBR, plans? PBR Pictures is very kindly bringing it uh, to India. So with the two films, of course, the other thing that has happened, with Ritesh, is you made Variety's list of 10 directors to watch out for. Oh, now, so I hope no one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> This is a list that has had Alfonso Cuaron and, and Wes Anderson and Christopher Nolan and you know when, when they were emerging directors and now you're on this list. What did it feel like? When did you first find out about it? I heard about it when it came out on the day. Uh, I didn't know it was such a big deal uh, but, but you know of course it is. I think it's, it's very nice to be on a list like that. At the same time, you know, uh, it won't be on it next year. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I, I, I don't know. I mean, of course, it. Uh, I wouldn't want to, you know, discount any honor by saying that it doesn't mean anything or I don't think about it much because 
I didn't think about it much, and then I was on it, and it's very nice, and a lot of people have con congratulated me, which is nice. It is. Uh, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's a nice thing. It's one of those nice things, but you know, then you have to move past it, and you know, it's still hard. Uh, now we're going to start editing, and it's not going to be easy. When you're editing a movie, you practically are rewriting it, uh, and it's not easy. And many times you feel like it's not going to work. Until it starts working, it doesn't work. So it's not that the job gets easier because you were on on a list, you know. <laughs> so, but it's nice to be on a list. But Ritesh, as as a creator, do you really struggle with each piece, or do you find you know that with each successive film? you're becoming more and more confident of your choices unless you're doing the same thing over and over literally the same thing over and over there's no confidence uh, no yeah i mean you've got to keep searching for it and you obviously have a strong sense of what you want it to be when you go in but that sense also has to be malleable enough i mean even in lunchbox you know we i wrote that last voiceover uh, while editing towards the end and before that the movie didn't really work it just didn't feel complete it didn't come together we were struggling in it for for a while but then i wrote that last voice so and suddenly it clicked together yeshvi jab school se aayegi maine apna saman bandh liya hoga aur hum dopahar ki gaadi se nikal jayenge shayad main ye chitthi aapko bhejungi aur aapka naya postman aap tak pahuncha dega ye shayad mujhe ye chitthi apne paas hi rakhni chahiye aur saalon baad ise phir padhna chahiye so one hopes that that will happen often you know and, and each time you do it you will discover something new You know, um, somebody asked Shekhar Kapoor uh, that why do you keep leaving? Why do you keep going to the West? And and he actually said that um, something to the effect of that there isn't any commitment or passion or aspiration to make world class content here. That's why I have to leave. Do you agree with that? I don't think so. I don't agree with that honestly. I, not to disagree with Shekhar. <laughs> If he's watching this, you know, uh, maybe he's right in his own way. But I don't agree with that honestly. I think where does the commitment? need to come from i mean it's a director's medium it, it has to come from the directors uh, and i'm a director and you know it has to come from me so uh, that commitment to make world class content you know uh, has to come from me and then i have to pull a team together and and make it so i mean i would love to make a movie in india next and uh, that was my plan really uh, is that what you're thinking yeah. of now you know, that was my plan after lunchbox and then uh, i wrote something and i was also adapting a great indian novel Uh, around that time and then sense came to me as an offer to direct and I, i mean you can't say no to that so i went and did that and then i got a call from mr redford's office and you can't say no to that so i went and did that and i enjoyed both things you know both the writing and the making and the editing of those movies uh but it's always my plan to come back to bombay and, and make my movie that i wrote for myself in india in bombay so no i don't agree with that i think i think that commitment has to come from you know from the person who's making the movie Uh, the director and do you think that you're learning from both working in the uk and working in the us mm -hmm. you can actually bring to the ground here or is I mean, it just yeah, too different I mean, no of course you know i mean my crew for lunchbox is amazing it was just a great crew all the hds all the people who worked on the movie were wonderful and so good at what they did you know i mean you saw the movie but yeah it was just me it. it was everybody who yeah. worked on it whatever i learned while making lunchbox i took it with me to to england when i made a sense of an ending Uh, so it's you know it works both ways, right? Absolutely, and I can't wait to see what you make next. Which Tell us a little is, bit. What is the what is the the Bombay script? Oh, uh, it's a it's a movie that's set in Bombay, uh, and it's a love story of sorts. Uh, you'll be the first to know <laughs> when <laughs> when it's ready to go, and uh, when when you know when we get it going and uh, talking about it. Super. Yeah. Thank you so much, oh, thank Ritesh. You. Thank, thank you. you. Hi, I'm Ritesh Batra, and if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to Film Companion uh, by hitting the subscribe uh, button, which is down, down, right? Or is it? <laughs> on the, okay. It's generally it's down. So yeah. <laughs>